Uh, on Afghanistan, we've yes. seen some videos of uh, women being beaten by the Taliban. I know you're very concerned about the women there, but I know that you are also uh, not a fan of how some of these tech companies have handled social media, and specifically whether or not some of these videos should be allowed to stay on their platforms. And as this speaks to Section 230, are you concerned that these social media firms have not taken action to take down that sort of offensive content as it pertains to Afghanistan? Well, I'm concerned about offensive content on the uh, social media platforms, even beyond Afghanistan. But this is highly dangerous, immediate in its impact, and I would hope that they would act in a responsible way, and we have to call them out on it. Uh, in terms of Afghanistan, I've uh, been there maybe nine times, I think, to Afghanistan every, every term since 9-11, uh, and uh, mostly we went to thank our troops as a national security issue. Uh, that's the purpose of a CODEL, first and foremost, U.S. Se uh, security, and to thank our troops and to get a measure of what is happening there. But we always, always, always had as another priority what was happening with women and girls in Afghanistan. That was bipartisan. It was bicameral, House and Senate. It was White House as well as Congress. So, and it was the American people. A large part of the support for what the, our presence in Afghanistan stemmed from the fact that we were concerned about uh, opportunities for or not for girls and, and women, and uh, visited children all over, all over the country, women and girls all over, not just in Kabul, but to see uh, uh, the new lives that they had. And it's 20 years, so you see that they, some of these girls, these young women, have no, not known another life except that they could go to school and the rest. And so we will shine a very bright light of transparency on what's happening there for girls. We're, it is, um, I think the president made the right decision to leave Afghanistan. I think we should have left a long time ago. We should have stayed longer in the beginning to get the job done. We only routed the Taliban. We did not defeat them. And then we left to go to Afghanistan, to Iraq. But having said that, over time, I think we should have left sooner. Uh, I do think that uh, the historic uh, evacuation of 120,000 people was remarkable, and I commend the administration for that. This is never easy. That's not always uh, complete right from the start, uh, but it was remarkable, even though it got off to a, a, a hazy start. And. Uh, now we, now we go forward. But uh, the platforms of these, uh, you know, social media is a double-edged sword. It has great things in terms of communication and the rest. And it has enabled um, people like the QAnon to find each other and go to 2 million people, thank you, Facebook. And so they have to, they should know better now that they've been through that experience when it comes to what's happening in Afghanistan. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker.